climb off to get some wood. Rosie and I went shopping for a slab of wood yesterday to make a long, narrow, tall bar table for our sun lounge. And we went to two different shops but came away empty. One only had blonde timber, we want red. And the other one had some lovely red, but either too big, or too small, or too expensive. But anyway, we came away empty yesterday. And just cruising on Facebook Marketplace today, I spotted a nice, well it looks nice on Facebook anyway packet of five pieces of wood uh, iron bark for five hundred dollars so I thought that's a bargain I can't pass that up so even if we don't use it for that table I'll find plenty of use for it otherwise so I'm off to get some wood Hold that okay. No, uh, well, uh, yeah, I'll have to, or maybe take it off. Oh, Just yeah, a couple okay. of pins on it. Now, while we're here, would you mind telling me that story again about where the wood came from? Yeah, so the wood's eucalyptus crepera, which is um, narrow leafed iron bark, and approximately 200 year old tree. So it was getting cut out because it had fallen on a farmer's fence up at Appen. And uh, so I got, I got them to slab it instead of turning it into wood chips. Yeah. So I'm glad it's getting used. Yeah. It's um, and the property was owned originally by Hamilton Hill, who left from the gates up there on Appen Road and found the way to Port Phillip Bay, which is now Hume Highway. Right. So that is the explorer Hamilton Hill. Um, and yeah, this timber is directly from that property on Appen Road. Good to see it getting put up with you. Yeah. Right. Fucking heavier. <laughs> or they just get heavier as the, the more you do. <laughs> and they're pretty straight too, aren't they? Oh, look there. The guy chainsawing them, he dug it a bit. 
Some of the ones we saw in the shops yesterday, you know, they, they'd been dried and everything, but they had cupped. Yeah. No, these, because I've had them like that, he told me to do that. Trying to upgrade. We just moved about three weeks ago. Where are you at? I'm now in um, uh, Warrawa. Oh, you're cool. Got a nice man shed all to myself. Excellent. We used that a bit on the boat. Mainly because it's so so difficult to cut. I've been up the main shed a few times. Uh -huh. And they've done it for me, but funny the misses. I said we'll put them on put them on marketplace. So that was excellent. Uh, I told that man's name was Daryl. He uh, he was going to use the wood himself, of course, but he's going to move house and couldn't take it with him. So he cashed it in. Uh, I got I got a serious bargain there. Five hundred bucks for six pieces of wood. Perfectly straight, no cupping, and apparently cut by a chainsaw, but with no mill or anything like that. Chainsaw by hand after drawing a line. That's crazy skill. Anyway, uh, the tree was a live tree when it fell over, uh, and it was cut about two and a half years ago. If he didn't say that on the on when I asked him on video, there you go from uh, Hamilton, uh, Hume, Hamilton Hamilton Hume, the old Aussie explorer, uh, from his property, and the tree was over 150 years, I think he said. And hopefully he said it on video because I knew I would forget. I was confident that they wouldn't move, but I might actually put a strap on them. But yeah, I know that I got a serious bargain there. So Daryl, if you're watching, thank you. Awesome. Daryl knows the value of the story behind the wood and I love the story behind the wood too so I can't wait to see what they look like when you skin the age off the top and put a bit of varnish on or not varnish um, wax or something so we, we were right not to buy any wood yesterday when we went out as Rosie said we didn't fall in love with the piece, so why buy it? But I have fallen in love with this wood that is absolutely gobsmacking. That I was in the mood and in the market and could grab the cash from my daughter uh, to come around and grab that before somebody else spotted it because uh, it only went online yesterday. And I grabbed it.
So what you're looking at here is one, two, three, four, five slabs plus the skin. And let's see, that one's probably the widest. And that's just shy of 500 mils. It is uh, about 55 thick. This piece isn't as weathered as the rest. You can see it's nice and red, but it's not exactly pristine in terms of what's really inside there. So I thought I might just take this piece here and stick it through the thicknesser and see what it's really, really like. I think my blades need sharpening so I'll give it a rest but yep the wood is beautiful red on the inside I scored a terrific bargain I reckon and that very so shortly is going to make a table in our Sun lounge so that project coming up soon